you know, down on the good food. This is Frank Nordman. He's a player out of Sacramento. And Scott Frost. Some guy out of Mesa, Arizona. Power one pocket. Frank's a pretty aggressive player. He's gotten a lot better in the past few years. Really worked on his game. Good shot by Frank. Bring his cue ball up back into the pack. That's a real difficult shot that Scott Frost executed pretty easily. Anybody that's curious, yes, that is Frank's real hair. I think I'm done with that. I need some. I need. Some, so, uh, how about a, uh, a real, real coke? Okay, yeah. Thanks. Safety by Frank. Yeah. This guy just lost his last match. This is more in the loser's bracket here. He still doesn't look very confident yet this morning. He might not be used to playing this early. Well, we we have a we have a name for Frank here. We like to call him Helmet Head because of his hair. He's going to play this ball through. I don't like that. I like just playing the ball straight back up the table. He's got plenty of room here to draw the straight straight back up the table. Get a kiss off the one ball and play the five next. But instead, he's going to try to get fancy. He's he's trying to play above his head here. I think. And just knock the five around. Try to knock it around again. Yeah, he's fooled around. Freaking missed the shot. Thank you. And Scott took it out. You know, one pocket's a simple game. You don't have to complicate it by doing shots like Frank did. That's a pretty good bank. Even if you don't hit it real well, you can kiss it off the six. Move your cue ball up behind the three.
Okay. I don't think Frost is going to have any problems getting out of this. There we go. And I still left Frank a bank on the 7. I like playing this one just straight in, get my cue ball up behind the 14. Okay. Good job, Frank. Well, mental error by Frank there. He knows better than that. So we have no score yet. Frank's a uh, one in the hole. First game of the match. Okay, so Scott still has a bank on the three here. It gives him pretty good shape. That's what he shoots. Straight in the hole. And if he'd made that, that'd be Frank would have some real problems. Okay, so the score is Scott Frost 2 and Frank a minus 1. I like coming off the 11 to knock this ball out. He's going to play the bank. And I think Frank is, his nerves are killing him. He's, this is not Frank. I think a lot of people do this. They get they start playing a player of Scott Frost's caliber and they think they gotta do things that they're not capable of doing. And the best thing to do is just stay within your game, play your game and whatever happens in. Good roll there. He could have easily scratched. He's got position to go to the A next. Okay, he needs one. And that's how you do it. Oh, he needed two. Okay. Scott Frost break, one to nothing. Take, take your time. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I think Scott could probably give him 10 to 5. Scott, uh, and, and not to, uh, I know that sounds a lot of out of line, but uh, Frank Frank likes to play games that uh, he has the advantage. He doesn't like to play better players. Not that he can't do it, but uh, just doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, Scott's got a bank here. Now, the reason I said 10 to 5 is because John Henderson, who plays pretty much about Frank's speed, 
was offered 10 to 10 to 5 by Scott Frost and we were down in Arizona and he turned it down and I think rightly so what a nice bank good speed okay he's got a shot here 5 8 might not be able to make anything but it caused some real problems there you go I don't know if Frank had cut the 12, if it's advisable. This is how you put somebody into problems all the time. Uh, Frank would rather uh, play even or get weight. Alright guys, I'm back. How's everybody doing out there? Thanks yeah, everybody good for shot, in. Good shot. You're watching the 4,000 Added One Pocket from California Billiard Club in Mountain View. You got baby Frank here playing Scott Frost. Scott's leading 1-0, to zero, race to 3. You know, Frank's been winning a lot of the 9-ball tournaments. His 9-ball game has really rocketed it up lately. He's always been real strong at 9-ball. There's 8 people on the winner's side right now. Good shot. Just getting his step going. He's feeling it. Yeah, if you guys out there who are watching, uh, if you would, click the social media tabs below the screen and, and share it with your friends and let them know that they can come watch in one pocket. Appreciate it. Oh. I don't know how he ended up there. He had a, he could have followed that ball just a little, a little high. He can bank the six here, bring the cue ball behind the thirteen. Yeah, Coates, we're even, buddy. He got there. Raphael blasted into the back. Well, it looked like Raphael gave up the last game. You know, he, he, it was a nice shot here by Frank. Played that ball perfect. He shot that perfect. Nice shot. He would have liked to have made that ball. He could have got a few more of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? He's feeling his oats now, huh? Let's see what Scott does here. Uh, the other top players in this tournament are... Alex Pagalion, uh, Santos Sambo, Ike Reynolds. I mean, there's just so many good players in this stuff. Raphael. Yeah, Raphael Martinez, Silver Ochoa. This is a tournament race. This is a great tournament. Uh, this, is a, this is a very strong field. Very strong field. Mike Davis is here. I mean, this is the strongest one-pocket field I've seen outside of Derby. Oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Unbelievable. That looked kind of strange. I, I heard something, but I didn't see anything happen. I think his stick hit the rail. Made it sound funny. Well, the score is 4-1 to one in favor of Baby Frank. Now, if Frank was playing me, he'd shoot this eight ball. Yeah, and leave you on the rail long. Uh-huh. But he's not going to do that with Scott Frost. I wonder if the 1311 is wired to Scott's hole. It looks close. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's shooting that. It's hard to tell from here. Just as good safety. There's eight people left on the winners. He's going to uh, handle his cue ball wonderful. better than that. I'm sorry, Lenny. I didn't mean to talk over you. I thought that was a pretty weak safety. Yeah. If you guys want to get more information about our live streams, uh, we're all over the place. Um, you can sign up for the newsletter at onthereltv.com in the top right-hand corner, or... Like us on Facebook if you're on there. We're also on AZ Billiards and OnePocket.org. So. OK, 
Chris, what time are the finals tomorrow? The last four star plan. For the finals. Okay, so we just, I was just talking to the owner, Chris, there, and he's going to, the final four are going to be starting at 1.30 tomorrow. And then the finals be played at a very reasonable time for everybody to watch. 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Raphael and Mike Davis are playing on the table next to us. No, Gabe Owens uh, is not here. Uh, he was signed up for this. Uh, I was actually hoping to see him play in it, but unfortunately for us, he didn't show up. I'm sure some of the players here are happy about that, hold on. There's eight players that could win this tournament. Frank's got a good shot here. I don't think he's going to take it. I thought he could bank the 14. Freeze the cue ball to the 15. And put a ball on his side. And I, I think he didn't shoot it because I, I think he's a little scared. Actually. He's going to break out some balls here. I see that's a good safety. Coming off the rail like that. A lot of people don't think about that shot, but you come off the rail, it gives you that little extra spin. You don't have to hit the ball very hard. This is a tournament game. This is the $4,000 added. One Pocket Challenge, Mountain View, California. Putting on a great tournament here. Frank's going to come to the bottom rail. Good shot. Well, baby Frank is holding his own here. I'm sorry. He's holding his own here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he said. I think he was nervous the first game, but he settled down. He's made a few balls. Now he's starting to feel better. It's only the second game, so there's plenty of one pocket left here. This video is frozen. Oh my uh -oh. god. Re reset. Yeah, you might have to refresh your screen. I don't know how everybody else's is, but... He's got a two-railer here. Just press play. <laughs> nice cue ball. I like that cue ball in that shot. Alright. What's Frank looking at here? He's looking at the dead one. You gotta be careful here. He could scratch if he comes off the eighth the wrong way. Looks like Frank's going for a kick on the 13. Changed his mind. He's got to get a ball on his side. If this is Rafael Martinez shooting this shot, he's cutting this happen. He's going to re-rail the 13 and yeah. stop his rock. Absolutely. That was a terrible shot. Very bad choice. He could have cut that seven into his hole. Mm -hmm. 
There it comes. Now Frank's in trouble. He's got to shoot the five here. He can shoot the five. His cue ball scoot up behind the seven. And if he's lucky, there won't be a shot. The other thing he can do is come around and kick the 13 off the bottom rail. You're looking, you could look at a scratch like that. We've seen that happen already today. I think you can load up your cue ball though and shoot the five. The score is Frank 4, Scott Frost 1. This is the second game with Scott Frost leading 1 to nothing. Still no rail. So he lost a ball and he sold out. So and that four ball might throw. I don't know. Can you see from here? On your um, side? It's going to throw into the rail. Okay. But he, you know, if he can get on the six, he can break those balls out. He might even try to break them out here. I wouldn't, but. Uh, well, maybe it does throw in there. He can probably hit the uh, left side here. He's looking at throwing that ball in. It, that's a. Yep. <laughs> that's what I know about pool, huh? Nice. He can't make the 14, but he, he can make the 15. Yeah. Okay, well, the score is 3-3. Three to three. Actually, 4-3. to three. Oh, it's a 4-3. to three. You're right. I couldn't four see the four ball there. Now Frank's got a chance here to make the 14 and get on the right side of the 15 to make the 15 too. I don't know if he's got that angle. Yeah. Nope. It's all down. So I think Scott's going to try to get it behind the 8 here. Nope. Played for the 14. <laughs> he, he's liable to cut this ball right in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he hits the balls real good on shots like this. He spins it, he'll come around for the 8. Uh-huh. Well, you've uh, seen him play a lot more than I have. And, you know, because you see him play down there all the time. Yeah, and, you know, we go out. We went on the road a couple times together and uh -huh. stuff like that, too. So, kind of. I've seen him, yeah, I've seen hundreds of hours of him playing. You know. Right, right. Yeah, that's quite I mean, pleasurable. I, yeah, I sat a, go out with a player like I sat for quality. one match where he played for 30 hours straight. I sat there for 30 hours uh, uh -huh. in this game. It yeah. wasn't with Dippy, was it? No, it was with uh, Preacher Ron. And then uh, I, I've I've sweated probably about I don't know how many hours of him and Dippy. But you get to see, you know, you get to see a lot and you learn a lot. From oh yeah, absolutely. Him. That's what I was telling a friend of mine. He's coming in and he practices every day. He's, he, when he first started coming in a few months ago, he wasn't that good a player. I said, instead of instead of playing today, I said, you should just be watching these guys. You want to learn as much watching as you can by playing. Okay, so Scott made both those balls. I, have no, I know he didn't want that to happen, but... Score is seven to three in favor of Scott. So, I like his chances here for this game. Oh yeah. yeah.
He's gonna fire up the sub ball. No, Frank's gotta go for this shot. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Well, the score is 7-4 to four in favor of Scott. I'm not sure if he can bank the 10 ball 3 rails. He's going to just go out this 9 1 rail. Left hand spin. No. I'm not sh quite sure what he was trying to do there. Hmm. Frank needs three and Scott needs one from here. How's everybody's uh, audio and video coming in? Glad we're not having the problems we were yesterday. Knock on wood as I'm pounding myself in the head. <laughs> so, not sure if baby Frank's gonna try to two rail the nine here. I think if he does, he's gonna give something up if he doesn't make it. You know, if he doesn't hit it good, he's gonna leave a cross corner bank, so. That ain't no good. Oh well, the cue ball came down enough where he didn't leave Scott a cut. Yeah, if you guys are on easy billiards and you'd uh, bump the threads for this live feed, we have one in the main forum, one in the live stream area. Let people know what's going on, what match is playing. I'd appreciate it. Not sure who our next match will be. I know it'll probably be a winner side three o'clock match. Maybe perhaps it'll be Alex Pagaline and Louis Ulrich. I'm not quite sure. There's a few good ones on the board. There's a lot of good ones. There's I see on the winner's side Chris Bartram, Santos Sambahone, Alex Pagalion, Louis Ulrich, Ike Reynolds. Mark Vidal, Brandon Schuff, and Silver Ochoa. Those are your winners. Eight on the winner side. Tomorrow we'll bring back four players. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Steve? 
Ball count seven to five. Scott needs one. Thanks, buddy. Lighting's decent here, and uh, it's not too bad with the lighting and the internet connection's good. At least uh, we're not having any problems. Uh, yesterday, I think Ustream was just having problems. Uh, I think the streaming problems were on Ustream's end, not ours. Score is 1 to 1 now. Baby Frank versus Scott Frost. Uh, yeah, yes, I mean, today we've had no problems. L all last night we had no problems until the, you know, the afternoon there, but uh, I just think Ustream is just having issues. Like, I have no control of the chat. That's a Ustream thing, so I believe uh, Ustream is having some server issues there. But we'll see if that changes. So your next match is uh, probably going to be Alex Pagaline and Louis Ulrich. I think you guys enjoy that. They're taking a, a short break, and I'm going to run some commercials, and we'll be right back. Scott Frost, Baby Frank, live from the 4,000 Attic California Billiard Club, California One Pocket Challenge. I invented this shot. It's cost me a lot of money. I might get out. Won the game from there. All right, guys, we're back. Waiting for the players to get back. We're taking a little break. Yeah, 
I definitely want you to check out Crown Cues. They're one of our sponsors. Uh, I think you'll really like what you get if you're able to get one. I got a little bit of a, a back order. I'll show you mine. Uh, Curly Maple Rapless Cue that I play with. Sent it all over the country and everybody got to check it out and they really liked it. So I think you will too. Well, Franklin's done a, a fairly decent break here. Mm, that's not going to do it, although I think Frank can come off the bottom of the 14 and get into the stack. Oh, wow. We had a little shot there to shoot, but, uh... Scott's going to get out of the break here. Looks like he's just going to kick the 9 up and out, or he can just bank the 13. Depends how you feel. Oh, he banked the 5 ball. I didn't see that he had that shot available. No fear there, huh? No problem. Glad you're uh, tuned in and enjoying it. Not afraid to go into the balls there with some uh, authority. Probably gonna, yeah, he's gonna open up the balls a little bit more, but he uh, came too far. He wanted to hold for the two. That's the problem sometimes, you know. Yeah, he hit that ball pretty good, huh? Baby Frank's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Might be forced to uh, shoot at the six ball here if he's got a thin cut on it. Well, um, Alex did win his match, but Scott did not, so they will not be facing off. Your next match after this will be Alex Pagelion versus Louis Ulrich. Um, Scott is leading 3-0, to zero and the ball count, it is 1-1 one one game score. No. Uh, uh. Now it's a uh, one to one, I believe. I think the beads are wrong up there. The beads up above me are saying two to zero, but uh, Frank won the first game, I believe. Pretty bad if I don't know the score. I'm pretty sure it's one to one. Scott, what's the score, buddy? Two zero. Alright, well you guys know better than I do. I, I stepped away to get some food, so... I'm dogging it today.
Well, Scott's probably gonna get out here. He needs uh, three more balls. I just said the ball skid it, but maybe Frank's gonna come to the table and uh, needing all the balls, it's gonna be tough for him. Probably to move both balls away. I think that's the correct shot. He might be able to shoot 13 into the uh, 15 and move him away. He's got to get him out of there. I mean, he might just move the 15, keep his cue ball down on the end rail, just put it in the center of the table, the 15 ball. No, he tried to cr he crossed the 13 ball, and uh, he's going to lose this game. So I think Scott has a shot here on the 12 ball, straight in the pocket. That's it, good match. Uh, Scott moves on and Davey's out of the tournament, but good tournament for him. He beat Corey Duel late last night. Alright guys, we'll have a match for you very shortly. Hang out.